Certain facts are not in dispute. Travis Alexander was stabbed 29 times. His throat was slit. But Jody Arias has not really given many details about how she did that because she claims she was in a fog during that part of the killing. Well, we're not taking I don't remember for an answer. So we came here to John Jay College of Criminal Justice to talk to the Chief of Laboratory Services armed with an autopsy about how that would actually go down. What essentially does this mean in terms of what was done to Travis Alexander's neck? Okay, we're talking about a wound six inches in length and one and a half inches in depth. One and a half inches into my neck. The autopsy report says it's an oblique cut, so that means that your knife, you're not shoving it Show into me. the throat, but you're going in for, at an angle from one side to the other. The um, severity of the wound and the depth of the wound severed the trachea, and if it were in the area of the larynx or the voice box, it would render the victim uh, unable to utter or scream. It's possible that he experienced tremendous pain for 30 seconds to a minute? It's possible. With rapid blood loss, you're going to pass out. This would be a very painful injury. 